Why do some houses not have gutters? Did you think gutters were required on all houses but started to notice some homes without them? Gutters are an intriguing topic, especially when you think about just how critical they can be in protecting our homes. So let's dig a little deeper into the reasons why gutters might be missing from some houses and what factors go into deciding whether or not to install them. Reasons why some houses don't have gutters. Gutters, as you may know, are made to collect rainwater from the roof and direct it away from the house. Basically, they prevent water damage to the foundation, siding, and landscaping. With that in mind, it might seem strange for some homes not to have gutters. I've broken down the reasons for not having them below. Design and aesthetics. One simple reason is that the homeowner just didn't like the look of a gutter. Some modern or minimalist house styles might skip gutters to achieve that clean, sleek look. In other cases, historical or local architectural styles might not include gutters. Think of adobe homes in the Southwest or Mediterranean-style homes. Those styles would lose their unique appearance if gutters were present. Other drainage systems. Did you know there are other ways to drain water than gutters? Well, now you do. Some homes use other methods to manage rainwater runoff. One popular alternative is the French drain. It's basically a trench filled with gravel or rock that helps funnel water away from the house. Another option is to grade the landscape to direct water away from the foundation. There are even more options, like rain chains and downspouts. Any number of these alternatives can be both functional and visually appealing. Climate. Another key reason lies in climate and regional factors. In areas with low rainfall, you may simply not need gutters. In such cases, homeowners might choose not to install them. On the other hand, gutters can cause more problems than they solve in snowy and icy areas. Why, you may ask? For one, ice dams can form in gutters. Those cause leaks and damage. So, some homeowners in cold climates might do without gutters and prevent such issues. Care and maintenance concerns. Another solid reason someone might choose not to install gutters on their home is due to care and maintenance concerns. Gutters need regular care to function well. It can be quite the hassle to clean out leaves, debris, and dirt that get stuck up there. And if you neglect this chore, you may run into overflow issues or even damage to the gutters. Plus, gutters need occasional repairs or replacement thanks to wear and tear, corrosion, and storm damage. If all of this sounds a bit exhausting, you certainly share that sentiment with more than one other homeowner. The time and effort involved in maintaining gutters might not be worth the benefits. Cost. Avoiding expenses is another fair reason why some houses don't have gutters. Depending on the material, size, and design, gutters can be a hefty investment. How can we blame some homeowners for not being able to justify the cost? High-quality materials like copper or aluminum can really add up in cost. Don't even get me started on professional installation fees. Then there are ongoing maintenance and repairs or replacements. All of these have a price tag. If you're on a tight budget or you don't want to put resources toward gutters, the expense becomes a deciding factor. Enjoying the video so far? Don't forget to hit that like button and show your support. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and join our awesome community. Now let's go back to our topic, risks and effects of not having gutters. So now you understand a few reasons why some houses don't have gutters. But what are those homes facing as a result? Let's explore the risk and effects of gutterless homes below. Water damage. Water damage is the most obvious concern. Without gutters, water can pool around the foundation. That leads to erosion and even basement flooding in some cases. It can really become a problem if the house doesn't have a good alternative drainage system, landscaping. Another issue to consider is the impact on landscaping. When water pours off the roof without any gutter to stop it, the soil will erode and plants or gardens by the house can get damaged. Not only is this a bad look, but it also leads to unwanted repair costs. Home damage. Exterior damage is yet another potential consequence of not having gutters. When water streams down a home's siding, it makes a mess. It can cause staining and deterioration over time. Also, this water may damage windows and doors. 
Wooden doors are at higher risk of damage because they can even start rotting. Assessing the need for gutters. Understand your location. First, consider the climate and rainfall patterns in your area. Is the house in a region with heavy rainfall? Then gutters are going to be more critical. On the other hand, if the area doesn't get much rain, gutters might not be as essential. Inspect your current drainage situation. Next, inspect the current drainage system, if there is one. Does the house have French drains, proper grading, or another effective method for channeling water away from the foundation? If so, gutters might be less of a priority. Talk to a professional. Consult with a professional is great for any homeowner deciding whether or not to install a gutter. Experienced contractors, home inspectors, or even landscape architects may give you key insights and advice. They'll have expert knowledge of local conditions and drainage systems. These professionals can help assess unique situations, identify risks or benefits, and offer guidance on the best choice. Basically, experts can help homeowners with their gutters or lack thereof. Conclusion Ultimately, the decision to install gutters is a personal one. The next time you see homes without gutters, know that there's probably a fair reason behind it. If you're a homeowner or potential home buyer, be sure to assess your unique situation, consider the factors we've discussed, and make an informed decision that suits your needs. While doing all this, keep in mind that the idea is to protect your home from water damage and ensure your investment lasts a long time. Thank you for joining us in exploring Why Do Some Houses Not Have Gutters? For more blog posts, please visit housenotebook.com.